Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash entitled parents. In today's episode. Mom complains about her father falling asleep after he takes care of her son. Entitled family causes scene at graduation. Dad expects me to be a perfect mom. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Mom complains about her father falling asleep after he takes care of her son. I read this in The Guardian today and couldn't quite believe the audacity of this mother. Exert below. Twice a week, when I'm at work, dad watches Theo, my son, who is 11, and feeds our dog Betsy, a 12-year-old Labrador who still has a lot of energy. But dad often falls asleep at mine. Theo says he doesn't like to wake up his grandpa, and he's pretty much old enough to look after himself, but if dad's offered to come and cook Theo's dinner and keep him company, then falls asleep on him, what's the point in coming? When I get home, I'll ask Theo, how long has he been sleeping? Often it's after he's made their dinner and done whatever else I've asked him to help with. After the chores, he's zonked. So this woman's 76-year-old dad comes over twice a week to look after her son, cook him dinner and do chores, all for free and she has the audacity to complain that he falls asleep. Also it's not like the child is a toddler his 11. If anything happens he can wake his grandpa up or call for help. Some people. I'm 25 years younger than this man. I have an 11-year-old grandson that lives with me. By the time I get home from work, fix supper, check his homework, walk the dog, most nights, I'm done. I'm heading to bed. Grandson can entertain himself, get ready for bed. He can wake me if he needs anything. This mom needs to get over it. I'm four years younger than you and have a three years old son. After work play dinner and bath, I'm beat by the time he is in bed. My 74 years old father watches my almost 12 years old at his house if she has a day off school, and he keeps his regular schedule of a late morning nap. She's fully capable of watching TV while he naps and knows she can wake him if needed. This woman is beyond entitled. Reading it, I was expecting the child to be 3 or 4, given her level of outrage. He's 11 and her dad has already done all the jobs? Geez. She even says he's old enough to look after himself. I don't get what her problem is. Her kid is safe, looked after and fed. If I was her dad I would tell her she is an ungrateful brat and I will just sleep at home from now on and she can pay for childcare. Considering the age of her father, this woman should be aware that plenty of 11 and 12 year olds in the 80s survived with a lot less supervision than that. He's doing everything she wants, including take care of an energetic dog, without pay. Let the man get some rest. Roll back to the 50s and 60s and 11 year olds were not only unsupervised but were supervising younger siblings. The kid is a tween. And what tweens and or teenagers like is not being bothered by adults. The mom sounds like a helicopter mom and the granddad is the cool one and trust his grandson. For crying out loud the dad is 74 years old so he gets tired more quickly than his own daughter does. My parents are 74 and 76 by the time 7 pm comes around they are tired. When my niece was 11 we would leave her by herself. We'd set the alarm. She could still move freely in the house. Plus they have cameras. So neither of us really worried about her being at home alone. All she did was sit there text with her friends, watch videos on YouTube and or play games on her phone. Now she's 15. But my brother who is a single father has cameras set up inside his house. So she can't do anything she's not supposed to. If the mom is worried that much. Set up cameras in the house. Entitled family causes scene at graduation. My SAL graduated medical school over the weekend. At the ceremony a family sat behind us. They had a four-year-old girl who kept running back and forth, kicking our seats, playing with our coats and hair, whining, and coughing etc. After about 40 minutes of this, my FAL started throwing the parents dirty looks and finally asked the girl and her mom to stop kicking his chair. 
That was all he asked. The woman, Karen, grabbed her child and said fine. This is my husband's graduation, but I guess I'll just have to miss it. Thanks a lot. And then she took her kid and left. The grandma, Karen Sr., stayed and was pissed. She said, why don't you just deal with it? She's not feeling well. Our group ignored her. After the ceremony the graduate husband came and found Fil and expressed his dissatisfaction at him making his wife leave. When again no one asked her to leave. It ended up being a comically dramatic situation with Karen Sr. trying to shame us for not putting up with the kid. I very calmly asked these people why don't you just parent your child? They had no answer and stomped away. As a former teacher and someone who loves kids, I get that kids will be kids. But parents are responsible for teaching their kids how to act in public. It's not okay for a child to be all up in other people's personal spaces. I very calmly asked these people why don't you just parent your child? I remember years ago, a situation in a restaurant where a kid was just going wild and the mother non-apologizing to the the table next to us when the lady at the table said, it's okay. It's always sad to see kids that have no parents. Karen, of course didn't get it and responded with, oh no. We're his parents. Which of course set up the first lady to respond with something along the lines of well, you may be the mother and father. But you're not his parents. This is gold. I bow down to that person and their witty wisdom. The kid really didn't want to be there. Graduations are boring as hell if you aren't the one getting the diploma. It's a thing adults do for those they love. Don't foist that onto a kid. Those are boring even when you are the one getting the diploma. Most medical school graduations have a notice this is a long ceremony and not an appropriate place to bring children. Just be responsible parents and everyone can enjoy. Mom saw it as an opportunity to get out of the boring event. You all were an easy scapegoat. Husband blamed you. Karen Sr. didn't think fast enough, so she blames you all. Fun times. Dad expects me to be a perfect mom. I grew up with a bipolar father who was finally diagnosed when I was 20. Growing up, I lived in constant fear of my father. For context, I was considered a goody two-shoes and never disobeyed. He criticized my weight on a routine basis, he would blame me for ruining his day if I did anything wrong or made a mistake as every child does while growing up. An example, he blamed me when he shattered the storm door glass because he had an extra coffee to carry in the cup holder because I asked for one since we were one vacation. I was 12 when this occurred. He often screamed explicitives at me for normal child needs because it inconvenienced him. He was emotionally, mentally, and occasionally physically abusive. Also abusive when I was five but I kept it to myself until my college years. He put me through so much childhood trauma. Ironically enough, my father believes that a person's childhood and how they were raised is a direct reflection of who they become as an adult. My dad won't apologize or acknowledge what he did but expects me to be a perfect parent. My husband and I have been together for almost 18 years, married for 12. My child has HF autism, ADHD, and dyslexia. Assuring he has the appropriate educational and psychological support he requires and deserves has always been my top priority. My father constantly finds something about my son's upbringing to critique. If my husband and I have a disagreement, raised voices but no screaming, in front of our son, my father tells us that our child is going to be messed up as an adult. My dad has even stated, in front of my son, my intelligence is disappointing and subpar to his and my mother's. My dad even told my son that mommy is going to ruin his upbringing and permanently screw him up. My father always points out anything about me that he doesn't like. According to him, he cannot enjoy his golden years because my imperfections as a parent are damaging my son's potential. He then curses at me. Any advice or guidance is appreciated. Thank you in advance.
For your own mental health, it might be a good idea to have little to no contact with someone who abused you as a child and continues to treat you very poorly as an adult. You let that man near your child? I sure would not. He deserves no contact. It's unfortunately common in cases of CSA, OP doesn't appear to have processed their own trauma. Why are you still in contact with your abuser? Why are you letting him keep on abusing you and now your husband and son? Please, stop letting your dad near your son. Wow. If ever there was a reason to go no contact, this is it. If possible get and stay as far away from him as you can. If you can't, at least limit how much time your son spends with him. You mentioned your dad's diagnosis of bipolar disorder as an explanation for his behavior. Let me clear this up, it is not. I don't know if your dad is contributing something in your life that you didn't mention but based on what you've said it seems only logical to cur him out of yours and your child's life. I would be concerned having my kid around him if I were you. Good luck on healing, you're strong to have come the other side of this. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.